Trolls and this is ADO Aura Guitars and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating our single notes and chords. One of the unique aspects about the library is that it contains over 17 gigabytes of guitars. There's actually 12 different guitars and basses that we deep sample in the library. But one of the unique aspects is that everything is exactly identical or symmetrical. So if you play a given groove down here, let's try this key here. I'm gonna try it on a couple of different things and you can see that both the notes and the chords, which are all sampled in perfect fifth, are exactly the same. So that means that no matter what you do, you can always try to port it to another instrument or another chord or another single note and it'll be identical. So let me just show what I'm talking about. So I'll try to trigger a groove down here and I'll just click it with a mouse and then I'll try it on a couple of different things here as you can see that it's exactly the same. So I think you get the idea that everything, no matter what you play, is identical and symmetrical. And the beautiful thing about this, and this is really one of the core premises for Aura, is that one of the feedback points we got from the old Auras is that people felt they were too locked. They wanted to be able to generate their own chords or their own single notes. And the only way we could really get around that was to do both. So we sampled all the chords in the entire library in perfect fifth. And let me just demonstrate here as well, all the chords are actually velocity based from muted chords to open chords. So you can really sculpt elaborate grooves and particularly once you get in here and start using the grid module and we have another video where I'm demonstrating that, you can start really sculpting more advanced grooves as well using velocity as well. And we also have that for single note, which are multi samples as well, but I'll get into that. But let me just play something here with the Martin chord here and check out in the mod wheel here as I'm going from the muted to the open chord and it's all perfect fifth. And it's just great because it allows you to do incredible sculpting rhythms. I'll do that a little in the video here as well, where you can sculpt that ding 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 sort of the open air to the muted sound so yeah let me show you here But let's try to get a little more into it here. Um, let me try to demonstrate a little deeper here what's going on with the single notes. I'll play a couple different uh, single note variations here and then I'm gonna isolate one using the stretch function. I'm gonna show you how awesome that is. Really one of the core premises and I demonstrate that in the other videos as well is really our stretch and our split function. They're incredibly versatile and allows you to go even deeper into the content. Okay, I kind of like that one. So what I'm gonna do right now is that because it's the last note I've triggered, the last aura, I'm gonna click stretch up here and all of a sudden I'm playing that specific aura here, but stretched out over the keys and it allows me to do much more advanced composition with it. So, so you're gonna hear me do the same thing right now. Down, uh, Stretched over here and I'll do the polyphonic so you can hear what happens when you play multiple notes with it. One of the beautiful things about this library and one of the reasons it's been taking us quite a while to make is that not only do you have 17 gigabytes of 12 different guitars and basses combined, but they're all super, super tight. So no matter what you do, no matter what tempo you do, it's all gonna be synced. And of course you can also control the rate and the sequencing up here. Now, let me try to click up here again and um, I'm gonna unclick the stretch function and you can see here that you have a layer of ORs here and then you have a layers of additional ORs up here. And these are only for single notes. You can see the second I click chords, they disappear. But we actually multi-sampled extra notes for the single notes here, and these are multi-samples. So let me try to go through a couple of auras here um, and see if I can find something I like, and then I'll sort of demonstrate the multi-sample aspect as well and try to play something more complicated with it. All right, so let's say that I like the data, data. Um, I'm gonna click stretch right now, and you're gonna see the same thing being stretched on here, but it's also stretched in multi-samples. Uh, let me just play four octave series. You can hear the, the obvious difference here. And it really allows you to play really natural things with that, actually. Let me just um, play a little bit here so you can hear it. So 
So one of the beautiful aspects about the library is that you can take whatever you played and you can just freely apply it to anything else you want. So let me try to take the same thing I just played and apply it to the Stratocast and single notes here. And the beautiful thing is that the library actually remembers your last setting, no matter what you click. So it's actually, um, you don't have to do any adjustments or go back and find the groove again. It actually remembers because it's the last thing you played. And it really allows you to try what you're doing across a variety of different instruments and be super tight about it. And speaking of that symmetrical or uh, identical nature in the library, let me also demonstrate here uh, the similarity between single notes and chords so you can understand how similar they are and why we designed it the way, because it's really designed to work together. You want to play that groove with the chords and the perfect fifth, and then you want to add the single notes on top, and I'll try to do that as well. Uh, but let me just show you here first. Um, let's try the Martin single notes here again, and then I'll try the chords again and just play exactly the same thing. And then we just try the same thing here. Uh, let me try it on the Telecaster as well. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you can really sculpt things in the chords going from muted to open. Let me try to do a little more elaborate stuff here. Uh, let's pick the mandolin chords and try to keep an eye here on the mod wheel, see how it go up and down. And then I'll try to, um, let me just do a very sort of slow um, sweep first and then I'll try to do a more elaborate one because you can really sculpt new grooves out of it. It's kind of cool. And then we try to sculpt some more crazy stuff here. So I'll be going a little faster up and down here in the mod wheel. And as a proof of concept, let me just uh, show that here on, let's try on the ukulele. Another great feature about the library is that you can actually take multiple ORs here and play them at the same time. And then you can use our pitch function. That's something that actually goes back to our old ORs as well. Um, so you can do very elaborate stacking of instruments as well. Let me just try here with the 12 string chords and um, I'll try to play it. You're going to see me watch play a couple of keys down here and then I'll just show you how the pitch work as well. And as I mentioned earlier, you can actually do it with all the modules. Let me just try to do it here. Let's say that um, in this one, for example, I felt the 12 string was a little too dominant. So you can actually dial the volume down on it here. And you can also control how gated you want it. So let's try to do that. Let's make this one super gated. It almost sounds more like the old ORS, where it's more like. Dit, 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 dit. And of course, you can also do the same thing for single notes. And speaking of single notes, let me try um, another thing here. Let me try to show you um, another instrument here. Uh, let's try the Dobro single notes here. So again, that last one was one of the multi-sample notes here. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me try to click on the stretch function here and let's try to play a little more elaborate with it. Okay, cute. Let's, <laughs> let's say you want to go Katy Perry on the ukulele instead.
Yeah, I'm not totally feeling Katy Perry on the ukulele. Let's try it here on the let's try it on the Telecaster instead. 